Hello everybody, Jet here, and welcome back to my It's A Playthrough here in Total War Warhammer 2, where things are going very well at the moment. We are finishing off our opponents down here. We're about to support our allies here in this siege, and then potentially reclaim the territory which they've lost for ourselves, and try and confederate them just to make sure we've got all of Lustria to ourselves. Ooh, what, what can we do? Can we get a right? Ooh, that might be useful. Uh, it's not not just yet. Um, yeah, let's start leveling a few places up. We're just trying to really push income out. Um, oh yeah, I need to fight this, don't I? Oh, this is going to be a tough one. Hmm. You know what? I'm not going to fight this straight away. I'm actually going to build some siege equipment. Because this could be a tough one, especially without siege equipment. They're not actually so great. They're good. But against my normal guys, they're not brilliant. I want to be engaging these guys on the walls. I don't want my guys to be tired. So, yeah. Um. Yeah. Okay, let's continue the siege there. They may well sally forth out, guys. Right, I do realise I've just remembered I've had a couple of name requests, which I will be doing. So we do have some awesome names sitting there for some more of my units in this one, guys. Shout at me in the comments. I will get them done. I'm go I've just forgotten today. I'm not going to sit down and go and dig them up now. Uh, as you can probably hear, I sound a bit different. That's because I'm in the uh, dining room rather than my, my studio. Because my studio, well, my brick shed is now actually being turned into my studio properly. Um, so at the moment it's all covered in plasterboard, which is really cool. It's looking really good. If you, um, It's only halfway there. Tomorrow they're doing some more work on it. Hopefully I'll be back in tomorrow night, but it won't be painted maybe the day after. At the moment, I'm, so for the time being, I'm stuck in the dining room doing my recording. Um, also, real life, there's a lot going on at the moment. Again, I've mentioned it on my Twitter in the community community tab, guys. Uh, I'm not going to go on about it here. There's a lot going on in my life at the moment, so I do apologise. There may well be some downtime at the moment, but some of these things are more important. So, um, a lot more important. I, 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 this is important to me, but some things are, so I do apologise. But back to taking over Lustria now after I've done all of that little housekeeping announcements there just to let you all know what's going on at the moment. I don't think I really care that they're stealing my technology. I don't think it's going to save them at this point. I thought I'd wipe Jared's entry out. This is going to be a grotty fight. Uh, to be fair, I might have done better by just autoing it. Um, I, thankfully, these guys are anti-large, which is going to help massively. So we are just going to counter-charge their Minotaurs massively. In fact, we've got a very nice anti-large setup here, uh, which is going to be very nice for us. Um, got a lot of spear units there. We've got some standard melee units. So actually, what we'll do is we'll try and catch them on my normal spear units, then flank around to hit their Saigors with my uh, cold ones. Blessed spear units as well. I 
I'm gonna have to go to them annoyingly. But you know, they all count as that most of their army is large, which is gonna help us. They have to charge us, so. Double time this. Oh, my screen. Oh, that's horrible. I've just noticed my screen is slightly off center for some reason. Let's try and fix that. You won't be able to see that, but. Sorry about this. It's trying to work itself out. I'll have to have a proper look later on. Oops. Oh, goddamn. Sorry, I messed up and clicked the wrong thing. We just need to advance. They will charge because the Minotaurs have to charge us. Those Cygors are going to be horrible to deal with, but that's how it works. Yeah, for some reason the image on my screen was not positioned correctly. Weirdly. Um... Forward! Actually, I quite like having them up on the sides. Let's throw my skinks forwards to try and force an force an engagement. You guys can move out that way. You can you can charge them. Here it comes! Oof. We're doing really nicely here because we've got our spears in as well as a bit of extra meat from our normal troops. We're going to hit him as hard as we can. Got my spears pushing out after these guys. Come on! That's right. You're gonna get far against us. Digging in nicely there. Same over here. We're engaging them with the correct units. Um, we're gonna keep chasing them off. Keep these guys on them. All of my range can be grouped and they can start assisting these hits. Don't want to keep these guys on for too long, but if we're breaking them, that's actually perfect. Right, let's, let's start spreading the love with these guys then against all of their ranged. Chase them, please. It's Kazarak running. They're being chased off. Nice. Basically, we had a heavy... We had a, a very anti-large setup here, guys. To chase these guys off with. Which is exactly what we needed. And I should have tried the confederation request before I defeated the army city, which they were at war, the other guys were at war, were sitting on their doorstep, because that may have actually got it off. And then I had another army there. So yeah, very nice thing there. Not many kills, but to be fair, they only had a small army. Yeah, we didn't actually kill that many troops, but we damaged their key units. Most of their range just ran. Um, we didn't kill all... We didn't actually wipe out a single unit there, and I don't... But I... If it was a player... 
they wouldn't be able to retreat because players can't retreat from you know when they've used things like the underway or whatever it is there the over woodland ways or whatever the world routes as these guys use um but the ai seems to be able to which annoys me a little bit uh but you know um so we took more losses overall but percentage wise vastly vastly less so i'm happy with that Take the replenishment and we're gonna chase them down if they stay alive, yeah. I mean, I'm kind of in the middle of a territory, they better give me military access. Saw you were gone. See, they do much better when I do that, but... Kill and eat! Nom nom. We're gonna start double tiling towards there. Like I said, we are building up here. Uh, Ooh, we have another tech to do. I think I'm getting there. I think I've got most of those now. Uh, I mean, I guess we'll go for that one. Let's check. Scrying pool, shrine of the old ones, and geomantic pile. So we have a shrine of the old ones. Oh, it's a scrying pool I'm missing, isn't it? Mm, that's actually useful to have. I definitely want to level that up. Because I definitely have a pylon. Okay, so somebody... I just remembered, somebody in the comments asked about what, what this is. So, I did do a little bit of thing, but I promised I'd explain it a bit better. So, this is the geomantic web. And it spreads throughout the world between all the settlements. Uh, but, uh, the lizard, it's basically the lizard men's way of controlling and it provides stability in the world. I don't know the exact law, so I'm not going to go too much in depth. But basically, the stronger you make it, you can buff it by building up pylons, and it also affects the regions around as you buff up your pylons. Um, you know, so having a strong pylon here will help the regions around as well. It affects my um, alignments, as they're called for these guys. So obviously, you know, at level one, it would be worse, and as it goes up, it gets better and better. So here, so 1%, 2%, 3%, you know, up to 5%. So basically it really buffs you up and how you do it, done it. Now law wise it's 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 the sort of a how the old ones bound the world I believe and kept it safe to an extent and um, it's even connected to the vortex you know they uh, the slan used it to help in secret to help the uh, help as the uh, as the elves form the vortex to protect the world. Okay anyway my Probably very incorrect law drop done. Let's keep going. I'm not going to give him a carnosaur, an old cold one, because I want to save up and give him a carnosaur. Again, somebody commented on that. It is good, but that's better. And that's a point I, I can spend elsewhere if I don't get it. So let's start upping Yek's actual damage a bit. Bob is on his way down. And Sakail is uh, heading over to join uh, Yak there. And we still have Paxo somewhere. We're getting there. The elves are still technically very powerful. I suspect they've grown quite a bit. There's quite a lot of territory here I can grab as well. So we're going to grab here. Then we'll put up 
push it up and start working our way up the is is isthmus there. Um, and work out where to go next. Um, Temple of Clara will get confederated eventually, so uh, it's just a matter of time, basically. So long as they don't overexpand, they will eventually just, as their reputation gets higher and higher with me, I, basically I want their lord, um, who's apparently meant to be able to see the future, but apparently not because I've beaten him a few times. You should have known. Hmm. I'm sure I defeated Jared's territory. I hope they just pop back up. Let's push up the growth. I will get rid of all these growth things later on, but for now, it is still quite useful. I'm buffing up all the income, which again will be useful later. Probably gonna wait for yes. Bob to join the army before we do our attack. Uh, but we're getting there. Hexlodl is still alive up there somewhere, though I suspect they're having some issues. And again, if I can confederate Mazamundi, that would actually be really good. Getting Maz Mazamundi in. Would be very nice, so uh, yeah, we're probably gonna push up that way relatively quickly. What do you want, Red Axe? It's still not happening. There is no beneficent benefit for me going for a military alliance with you, because all that would happen is you would drag me into some random war, when realistically nobody can get to you, and you you would just cause me problems, basically. I do like all the pirates, especially as they make just exploring the oceans a bit more tricky. I don't actually even know Maz Mazamundi yet. I barely know anybody outside my own territory. Really? And no one's going to take two more turns? Uh... Let's do this. This is probably foolish in the max, but, you know, this is going to be a hard fight. Hextok there, but we've got Gorok, who is going to go in and rip things to pieces once the gate's down. I am not going to send my Crocs guard through. I know I'm calling his Crocs the, my Crocs of Gores there. Um, 
you know, I'm not just going to charge them instantly through the gate, uh, though they will need to go through quite quickly. We are going to, first thing we're going to do is we're going to flood the walls with the, with my Saurus warriors um, to just do as much damage as we can. But not my, again, not my spears. I want them down. These guys can actually take up some of the some of the initial attack as well. This can be a little anti-large force, which is potentially going to go through. Gorok and these guys are going to hit the gates, but. Oh, Gorok can start forward to go straight out the gate. Just getting everybody to move up into position to start with. wobbling a bit. I hope those guys don't get uh, travel sick. <laughs> this actually works nicely here because Gorok will take a big chunk of fire before he even gets there. So we've got Temple Guard through. This is why I wasn't putting them through because we've got a lot of Temple Guard here. And I don't fancy taking them on, though Gorok's going to get onto that Stegodon very early if he can. Will we get there? Keep an eye on that one, I may have to abandon it. No, I think we'll get to the wall. Large force, go get that Stegodon. Proxy guard, pull back a bit. Right, you two can pull down, as can you two. Right, my Croxy's going to follow in as well now, onto this side. just to support a bit and keep four up here to keep the pressure on here um, against all their ranged. Slam into them on mass. No, you guys keep pressuring here. Right, I'm going to pour another unit down. 
doing nicely here. We are, we are having some fun. Gorok is battering this Stegadon. Well, he's being bounced around by it. He's trying to batter it. And we are clearing those walls nicely. Slam over. You guys can stay on there. All my Croxies can actually hit these guys. From behind. Where's... Keep on him. As much as we can. This is good, it's a bit of a melee, but we are kind of surrounding them as much as we can. Clear the walls now. Then we'll get my ranged up once the walls are safe. Here you go, let's get my wall ranged up on that side. My temple guard are doing nicely against their their large unit there. We've broken the Stegodon. I'd like to finish him because he could just turn around and start firing big shots into us, but in fact, where are my you have a job now. Push through and chase that. Don't get caught. Yeah, oh, damn, that's what I didn't want to happen. Temple Guard don't like breaking. I think these guys maybe, no, they're not quite unbreakable. Temple Guard have an immense amount of leaves. They are very solid. Um, that's not my Temple Guard. Um, and they, they, even though, you know, they, 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 they will stand and stand and stand. They are an amazing unit. Oh, they came back in. Wow, that was foolish. That that's Stegadon. That low health, it should have just stayed out, because your rock is liable to do horrible things if he gets a hit. I think it's time just to charge. No subtlety needed anymore. Gorok can stay on their lord. Oh, he's already right up there. He can turn around and hit the Lord again. The majority of my guys can just get the train going. See, these guys, they should have thrown this lot in. Especially that revivification crystal, because that would have been really helpful from top here. Cause it pro they provide heals, guys, so these guys provide... Uh, they, they can heal things up with the Rification Crystal, which is really good, and it even resurrects dead combatants, so it's uh, fairly good. And unfortunately, it can't resurrect completely dead units. Charge him to the back, he's not going to be a real threat. That is definitely our next target. Two reasons it hurts and it heals. Well, they are very nice to have. You want at least one, if not two, in your army. 
I also love the way the skeeks just hold on their sides and throw spears off. This is, this is, uh, I'm gonna go and double time this now, because this is pretty much over. It's just a, a, a slog through. They let me get on the walls, they let me, uh, to be fair, they didn't have much choice, but I managed to get down and surround them. We've taken losses, but again, we've done very, very nicely here, comparatively. Uh, I mean, it was against the AI, they let me outmaneuver for a bit, so. I've got a unit being trapped a bit down there, but he, they're, they're tough enough to survive for now. much the end of the Sentinels. That was their last major city, so I really have nothing left to worry about. They've got a small settlement left, so yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a very simple f simple effort to finish them here now. Good kills there. We yeah, we, we lost a big chunk. Um to be fair, this is where these guys, the Temple Guard, are actually not so good. They are don't get me wrong, they are very, very, very good troops. But a unit of Saurus Warriors versus a unit of Temple Guard. Actually, the Saurus Warriors come out on top just about because the Saurian Wolves Warriors actually have more. I don't need to cash. And, you know. Ooh, floating gardens. We, we get this place already buffed up a bit, so. Um. In fact, I can get that now. Uh, I'm going to start working straight onto that. I can get that when I get down there. Uh, okay. Yeah, I think we are now on buffing our actual army. Uh, hmm. I, I, I think buffing our proxy slightly more. It's a very good idea. It's a sure. It's a sure. It's a And we are now going to end this one here, guys. A little bit of them to finish off, and then we'll work out what we're doing next. As always, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you have enjoyed this. Please feel free to pop any comments in the comment section or jump over to my Discord and say hi. There is a link to my Discord in the comments and the description, as well as links to my Twitter, my Patreon, and my affiliations with Overclockers and Humble Bundle Games, guys. So please check them out. If you have enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. Otherwise, guys, thank you very much for watching.